Hi everyone, welcome back to Farming Sim 15. Here we are on the North Brabant map, single player as always, and I'm just finishing off the straw collecting. As you can see, I went ahead and purchased the little um, liner to make this a little bit easier. I didn't do this little bit, but it was a lot easier when coming to do the, um, the larger parts of the field. Almost collected all the straw, but not quite. Yeah, so we're just going to finish collecting this straw at the moment. Uh, I got Sebastian over there. He is now planting canola on this field. So we'll have a nice big canola harvest on here, which would be great. And thank you for all your comments regarding what we should do next uh, in the way of purchases. Obviously, I went ahead and bought the, um, the wind rower. A wind, yeah, it's a wind rower, isn't it? A liner wind rower, same thing. Uh, so the other things we were going, potentially going to get were uh, a larger forage wagon, defo, um, a straw power plant. Now there is a sale point, which I have been selling all the straw. There is a sale point at the biogas plant. Um, but it is a bit of a drive, so I wouldn't mind having um, a gas power plant near the farm, so we could uh, potentially get the straw sold a lot quicker. Obviously we'll keep some of the straw because we need it for the bedding, we need it for the total mixed ration. But um, yeah, we don't need so much so that we uh, we can't sell a huge amount of it. Um, I'm hoping we can get all this in one go. And this is the last trailer load. That would be sweet if it is. And then we can spend some money. And look what else that needs to be done on the farm. We need to do some fertilization today, giggity. Definitely, definitely, definitely. We've got a couple of fields um, in need of. Uh, God, tree in the way. Uh, in need of um, some fertilizer. Uh, some fertilizer spread over it. We were also going to look at potentially getting maybe a liquid or solid muck spreader, just to. Uh, use what we are currently gathering up from the, the pigs and the cows. Uh, so that is something we can potentially do. 75%, 76%, I think we may I think we may just run out of space towards the end of this run, but we are pretty close to getting it all. And I probably won't come back for the little there's little dribs and drabs everywhere. But I'm not too worried about them. Eighty five percent 87%. No, we might get it all. We might get it all. Yes, we will. Fantastic. And we'll exit stage left. Brilliant. So we'll take a little drive. I'll tell you what we could do actually. We could buy a power plant, a short power plant now, so it saves us the drive back and forth. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I liked where the guys in the, the multiplayer server had placed it. Uh, see if there's any, uh, if there's any better places. If not, then we'll, we'll do it in exactly the same spot. So that was pretty cool. Right, let's bring up the HUD so I can see where we are. We've got 173,000. So that is not only the sales of the straw. It's also some of the, some of the I sold um, a couple of trailer loads of um, uh, crop as well. Uh, so yeah, we haven't sold too much, so we've still got plenty in reserve, but. Um, I just wanted to get some money available, right? So there's no, we could potentially now would now that is now that would block block the garage. We could potentially shove it in there, but then it would block our access to the woods. Um, I think they did probably put it in in one of the best places. Uh, so if I just hop out of there, let's just move the JCB because I want to see if it will fit on this side as well. Well, you know, we probably don't want to get on that side, so they probably did it in the best place actually. Looking at it, uh, so it was in placeables. Oh, I've got these greenhouses and stuff. So 25 grand for a straw power plant. Uh, where are we? How do we rotate left and right? Mm. Uh, so they had it plonked in here somewhere. Uh, 
Maybe about there. Come place there. There we go. Boom! We got our straw power plant. Look at that. It's a little bit tight with the old um, silage. Yeah. Okay. Well, we, it might work. We'll see. Either way, the good thing is we can just shove stuff in there. Um, what we don't actually have to do is put silage in there. We can always leave it in the silage bin. It's not a big deal. Whoa. But we do now have a nice power plant which will not only generate some um, use up all our surplus straw but it will also generate money once we pump the power back into the uh, the national grid. Fantastic. Look at that. Lovely money coming in. So we already paid off a couple of grand. Yeah, lovely. Farm's coming together nicely now. Right, so what we want to do, we want to probably take this back to the shop and swap it out uh, and buy a new forage wagon. I tell you what, if we're going to do a big shopping, I know we'll get more money if we take this back, but potentially it's going to be a lot of time wasted. So we're going to take the, the money and we'll come and get them to collect it. So let's go to the garage. There it is. And if we can sell that for 13 and a half, yeah, sell that. Okay, great. So what we now need is, uh, oh, I'm in, no, I'm in the right one. Where are they? Oh, loading wagons. There we go. Uh, we've got 180 brake horsepower required for the Bergman, which is um, 38,000. That's only a 21,000. 38,000. We've got 50,000 capacity for 240. So we'll have to get the Bergman. Brilliant. Takes us down to 106,000. Now we wanted to get the beet stuff, didn't we? So if we buy buy that, and we buy that, there we go. We've got the beet stuff. Uh, leaves us a grand, but we do have all the crops we can sell. So do not panic. Do not panic. Potentially we could get a nice big tipper as well. Maybe like the crampy. What's that? 40,000 liters. 32, 21. Yeah. Uh, what is the capacity of the marshal we currently have? Oh goodness! Look at this. This can hold. These are the, all the harvesting ones for the. Um, it's twenty-one thousand. Okay. Okay. We've spent some money. Now let's get those. Um, for that kind of money, I want them delivered. So let's get them delivered. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got to make sure that we now actually, yeah, there we go, cool. So we now have stuff to do beating, and we've got ourselves a nice big fancy forage wagon, which is brilliant. And we've got the store power plant, and we've got the um, the windrower. Brilliant, fantastico. So. Next on the shopping agenda, I think we'll need obviously a, a bigger tractor would be the next thing we need. Um, I know we we'll, we'll also want to upgrade the combine, but for now it does everything we need. So I think we'll get more use out of a better tractor. Um, yes, I think things are coming well. Maybe it's, ah, butterfly mowers would be nice as well. We get the butterfly mowers for the back of a tractor, and then we well, we can really speedily do our um, our mowing. Then can I? We'll just go in in there. And uh, we'll have to get a. We well, obviously. Oh god, that looks a bit too high. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we're going to have to reset that. Kind of wedge that in under the roof. Oh, we'll do that another time. I think that's fine for now. I'll sort that out off, off screen. It's, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Uh, okay, we're coming at it from the wrong side. Just want to tidy up the farmyard, and then we'll get the, uh, the fertilizing tank on the back. 
and we'll go and do the uh, We'll just pop this over here in front of the corn header for now. Temporary move. Until I find a home for the beach stuff. Okay. Coolio, right, let's get the um the little so my camera's all over the place today. Alright, let's fill this up. Oh, we've only got a thousand pounds, so we'll probably go into the red. Oh, five hundred and seventy pounds left. Okay, grand. Right. So first off, we've got this field here. Oh actually that needs to be sown. Okay, we've got those two fields that have been cultivated but not sown by the looks of it. Let's just check on the map. So where are we? Field 11 has got nothing in it. Field 7 it looks like it's got something in it. Is it canola? Maybe? I don't know. Um, field has got clee in field 45. Okay, we've got um, corn in field 5. Field 3 needs to be fertilised, field 5 needs to be fertilised, possibly field 45 as well. Uh, and 11 and possibly 7 have need to be seeded? I'm not sure, hang on, let's just... That looks cultivated but not seeded, doesn't it? Stick my lights on, it's a bit... It's uh, almost 9 o'clock in the morning and it's a bit grim, isn't it? Dark and overcast. Right, here we go. Here's field, five, uh, field 45 and this looks like... Something sprouted, isn't it? Uh, so we'll get it fertilised. Now the interesting thing, we, we want to get this right because the tyres will cause withering. So you will get the um, a, <coughs> a withered mark, just like you would in uh, in normal life where you actually drive the tractor up and down the field. It's obviously going to have an impact on our crop, but it's just one of those um, things you can't avoid. It's a feature of drive control. Some people like it, some people don't. I do because I think it's realistic. You know, you have the hard packing um, part of the soil where the, uh, the tractors go up and down the same parts of the field all year. And you don't get much crop growing on there. So that's realistic. And it doesn't really detract too much from the actual overall yield of the, fi of the field. You keep doing um, donuts on the field, then yeah, it will. But um, for our purposes, it's, it's fine. About there, do you reckon? No, we're not quite. Let's move over a touch. There we go. Let's get rid of the HUD for a second so we get a nice clear view of what we're doing. So it would be nice if we can. I don't know if we still have the withering effect if we get it before the, uh, the crop sprouts. Uh, so we'll check that on field 3, see if we can get that done now. And potentially we may also do field 8, which Sebastian is currently seeding. I'm um, getting an indication that Sebastian is blocked. So if you look, you, you can see the, um, the usual inspector mod halfway up the screen. But if you look at the top of the screen, I've got glance up there, which I may be switching to... Oh, Sebastian. What have you done? Don't worry, we'll get those trees removed next time, Sebastian. I'm going to cut those down. Don't you have any fear about that, right? Off you go, Seb. Undeterred, off he goes on another adventure. Brilliant.
Yeah, so it'll be interesting if we get those fields done, see if we have the same kind of tyre withering. I don't know if that is a thing. Oh, we're missing patches. But again, I'm not going to be as OCD as I have been in the past because I think it's more realistic. There are going to be patches missed. You do get different you know, yield variations within the same field. You get patches of better growth and patches of worse growth. So that's realistic. I like that. And we also potentially can sell some uh, more crops today because uh, yeah we are down to our last grand well f half a grand it's half oh, it's 500 pounds is that a monkey slang term for 500 pounds is that a monkey I don't know I don't know my slang terms very well 444 pounds now oh, blimey I just realised I'd accidentally, uh, to hide the HUD is Alt H, and I must have um, clipped it without having the uh, the Alt plus down because um, the hide help kicked in. Great demand at the biomass heating plant for wood chips. Okay, in the next 18 hours, guess what we'll be doing? Time to get those trees down. So. And we'll get that wood chip and we'll get that over to the biomass plant, definitely. That was biomass, wasn't it? Not biogas. Let's have a look at the map. Oops. It was, was it flashing? It's the biomass plant, yeah. So that's the, you can see where the biomass plant there is flashing. The biogas is the one um, slightly sort of northeast of that. The, the three green domes, that's the, the biogas plant. So we'll get this done, we'll get field 3 done, and then I think it's time. Oh no, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll do field 3 offline. We'll get field 5 done. And then we'll get some wood chipping done. Right, so we've planted corn on this, which is grand. Um, the the beets, kiss my beets, all that jazz. Oh, if it, those of you who don't, we weren't on the uh, the live stream on Wednesday. We got a um, mini squirrel. Uh, came up with a nice term, kiss my potato. It, that that was kind of the lingo for the night. But I've been thinking about it, and I think oh, I'm going to use one of the catchphrases, kiss my beets, kiss my beets. I might get a t-shirt made up with as well. Kiss my beats. As in sugar beats. Not as in musical beats. So I'm coining that phrase. Kiss my beats. There was also some uh, lick my starch. Which I thought went a bit too far. Uh, um, hey. The joys of Wednesday night farming eh. And those of you who haven't seen the uh, the live streams, oh, I urge you to check them out and see what you think. Uh, but if you look at the bottom of the map, you see field 39, 40, and 41. That was all... Um, was it potatoes or sugar beets? Potatoes, I think. And, oh my goodness, the guys harvested. It probably took them about two and a bit hours to get it all done. Probably maybe closer to three hours. But my goodness, they stuck at it and they got it all done. It was an amazing piece of work. Such a massive field. Just drive through the hedge for a second. There you go. I need a couple more passes on this and this field should be done. We're pretty much 22% left in there anyway, so hopefully we'll have enough to finish this field. It's 
Sebastian is still going strong at this stage. Yep, he's still seeding away. That's good. We'll just drive through the pylon. Bing bong bang. Yeah, we, we don't potentially want too big a field when we come to do the beats. And we also want one that's fairly square, uh, which will allow me to have the the AI doing the harvesting and I can do the uh, the rest. Otherwise it becomes a real handful. Let's get rid of that HUD for a second. We're down to 13%. Oh, we may not have enough in here. Now we used to have it. I'm, I'm gonna have to check because I'm sure we had a trailer with seeds and everything on it, which we could park at the edge of the field. I haven't seen that since like day one, so I'm gonna have to try and find out what we did with that. So we're gonna check the garage after we finish this field to make sure we still actually own the thing. Let's do that. Ooh, there we go. Cool. Uh, we got six percent fertilization in the tank. That should be enough just to finish this off. Hopefully. Yeah, should be enough. Three, two. Oh, this could time it absolutely beautifully. There we go. 1.3% seed left. That's brilliant. Okay. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Uh, no, we don't want to come in here. So wood chip, wood wood chip, wood chip is on the agenda. So I wonder if it's in one of these um, sheds. It's quite possible that I locked it in one of those sheds. Uh, those garages are empty. Quick squirt over here. Ah, there it is. It's in there. Brilliant. Okay, so we, we can remember to drag that with us next time so we don't have to worry about it. Right. So if I drop my weight, not in the hedge, there. Alright, we'll take our destumper fire. And we've got a. Uh, the box chipper here somewhere. Okay, that's fallen over. Uh, let's reset that. Give our, gives ourselves a sporting chance to actually use it. Okay. We also need to get some grass, but I would like to... Um, what we'll do, we'll sell some more money sell some more money. Um, we don't need to sell money. We'll sell some more crops and to get some more money and then we'll buy the, um, the butterfly rear attachment for the mowers and then we can mow our um, fields that way then use the uh, the other tools we have. Brilliant, okay. Let's head up to the, the woodland area. We've got some trees we need to trim along the edge of the fields as well. I haven't forgotten that but well, maybe we should do that now. Yeah, maybe we should get rid of those for you, those trees actually. Right, so if we drop that for a second. No, oh, it's tipped over. Can I pick that up? Damn it! We're going to have to be really careful with that one. It's super sensitive. Reset it again. Where is it? There it is. Reset. Okay. We've got to go back anyway because we need to get a trailer. Do 
We've got, we've got the trailers over by the uh, the seed bit over there. Ah, oh, dear me. There you go. Okay, we've got that. So we'll get a trailer and we'll get one of those trees down today. Uh, and then we'll probably call it a day, I think. And what I will do, we'll come back next time. We'll let Smash and continue seeding on field 8. Uh, and then we will um, we'll continue with the wood chip harvest because obviously we've got 18 hours now. What's the time? 9 o'clock. We've got 18 hours to get as much wood chip as we can in that great demand which will um, bring in the cash yeah, there is a there is a, an issue with visibility with this thing on the front but ah well we'll live dangerously are these both empty? that one's empty Potentially sell one of the trailers as well. Um, in the long, when we when we next need an, uh, an upgraded tipper, I think we'll, we'll obviously exchange one of those marshals. It's nice to have a little marshal use because they're really useful trailers and they drive really well. Um, so I'm not too worried about selling them both. I'll keep one of them just for like little little menial tasks around the farm and stuff. That'll be good. So we're going to keep these five trees here because they're quite nice and as I say that's it's just a grass meadow at the moment so we're not going to need to do anything with that. It's only when it interferes with the the tractor. So potentially this one's in it's probably okay that one. That's probably just okay, but this one definitely needs to go. Right. Here we go. Uh, so we want it to fall that way really so it would be nice if you could actually cut a little wedge out of it but you can't do that so what we'll do we'll uh, try and get a band somehow Ah, oh, there we go. No, there we go. Now it's going to fall the other way, but it's the only way it would, I could get a band. And it fell that way. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting it to fall that way. Let's uh, trim it down. Now technically I think we could probably just use the Bronx to chip this all up in one go. Whoa. Now it's quite... I can't wait. In a, in a couple of weeks um, we've got... My parents obviously just moved into a new place. They're going to have um, some trees removed because they're hang, overhanging in the house. And they have to have two removed uh, which is going to be good and they're all going to be chipped. So that was quite interesting watching the guys in action for real. Hopefully they'll probably do it during a work day so I can't actually watch them. Chop this down a bit more. Okay. Let's see uh, if we can use the. Um, this will probably be. I'll need the HUD up for this so I can see what I'm doing right. Let's unfold that then. Press P rather than O, you could probably tell. I couldn't really hide that, the fact. Start the motor up. Okay, start munching.
That didn't quite work how I planned it to. Let me just try that again. Let's try and hit the trunk this time. There you go. Oh, it worked. There we go. 100% full straight away. Okay, we're going to probably need both trailers because, um, yeah, that one's full straight away without doing anything. Blimey. Okay, well, I'm going to drive this over to the biomass plant and we'll probably bring the other trailer over as well so we can get them both filled up if we're going to do a tree. Okay. Um, wow, yeah. I'd forgotten how easy it is to fill a trailer with the uh, with the chipper, but that's um that's good. We're gonna hopefully make a lot of cash. So we'll go and sell this now down at the old biomass plant, and from there I'll probably say adieu, and I'll bring both trailers over here. And when we tidy up, I think we've got another tree we want to tidy up over there. But we do have the woodland section just just over there behind field 45, which we can also start to do some harvesting in and there's probably some trees we want to get down around here as well yes it's all coming together isn't it slowly but surely it's coming together so I veer wildly to uh, avoid a collision Driving far too fast. Oh look, we've got minus 19 pounds. Oh dear. 22 pounds now. It's getting worse. But here is the biomass plant. So we we'll sell some logs there when we get the capacity to do some logging. Although I guess we could probably get a like a log fork for our. Um, front loader. Let's see how much logs bring in. Let's see if we can get this wood chip sold. Oh look at the money! Look at the money! Good god look at the money! One trailer's worth 35 grand! I know there is a high demand on but good god 35 grand we are going to be doing as much we're going to cut down every tree we can visibly see until the heart, until that demand is uh, over because we can make some serious money that way. Anyway, with that revelation on that bombshell, uh, I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching this week. I um, hope you enjoyed it. As I say, we've got the Wednesday night farming as always, although I might rotate that with a bit of Euro Truck. We'll have to see how that goes as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've, uh, you're okay with the, the uh, decisions we've made on the beat equipment, the... Uh, the um, the wind rower and the forage wagon. Uh, I think I think it was a good I think it was a good move. And um, yeah, things are looking good. And the um, straw plant, power plant. That was the other thing we bought. But yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you join me next time for more farming fun on North Brabant. I'll see you next time.